Supporters and advocates for the LGBTQ plus community that I spoke to said that these rulings are just creating a further divide within the community. And they say legislators and school boards should be working for all individuals. Uh, a group of legislators um, who are not medical professionals are, are, are overreaching uh, into spaces where they shouldn't be. Um, it, it's, 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 uh, it's cause for alarm, I think, if nothing more. That's executive director of Stonewall Columbus, Denzel Porteous. In the same week, he's seen the state house ban gender affirming care for minors and some trans athletes from competing, all while a local school board got rid of pride flags and any other activist symbols. Uh, we forget um, that part of uh, education uh, is helping our students understand uh, how to be emotionally mature, how to uh, deal with challenge and difference uh, in spaces that are safe and inviting to do that. He's not alone. Democratic Ohio Senate Senator Sherrod Brown agrees. I think the legislature should do its job and should, should do things to improve the lives of Ohioans, not interfere in the personal lives and doctors and uh, doctors and patients. Equality Ohio Policy Director Maria Bruno said in a statement, this isn't just government overreach. It's a cruel weaponization of state power against kids. Senator Brown wants to see a change in focus in Washington and at home. At Big Walnut, the board members who brought up and voted for the flag ban have declined an interview on several occasions. There are going to be people who will fight against it. Um, and there will be spaces and places where we will continue to create safety for the queer community here in Ohio, uh, regardless of what uh, legislation is proposed or passed. As for House Bill 68, Governor Mike DeWine has nine days now to either sign it or veto it. Local for you in Columbus, I'm Kyle Beachy, NBC4.